Oh, hello there. <laughs> he just caught me thinking, thinking about my show. The Village Idiot, yes. One of the best shows around. Raw, unapologetic comedy. Follow me as we take you to the realm of idiots. Join us. Don't leave. <laughs> Oh, I, oh no, I had another one. Another heck of a story. A guy called me the N-word. Yes. Nigger. No, Nebraska, because I was born in Nebraska. No, he used the N-word. It was a Mexican dude. And what's really funny is it didn't really affect me. My comeback was like, oh, but you're Mexican. And the crowd went crazy. Mexican trumped the N-word. Nigger was trumped by Mexican. That's what I love about Guy Ritchie movies. They're all the same fucking movie, right? Lock, stock, and two smoking barrels. Then there was Snatch. It was just a repeat of the same shit. Then Rock and Roller was the same shit. Same plot. You got my money. <laughs> Oi, you got my fucking money. I don't have your money. <laughs> I got to you in two weeks. Fucking two weeks. Two fucking weeks. Gave you a month. He don't want to give me a fucking money. <laughs> then they freeze frame it. This is Danny the dancer. <laughs> He's one of my favorite mates. And we talk about him later. <laughs> You're like, shit. This is the same fucking movie. <laughs> and then Jason Statham always shows up in all of them. How fucking awesome. You, know, you like Jason, huh? Jason's awesome. I like him. Because he's, he's just mad all the time. You know? Like, it could be a Christmas movie. And Jason Statham will fucking hate the movie. Jason Statham hates Christmas. So you're Santa Claus. I don't like fucking Christmas. Oh shit! He just fucking shot Santa Claus. Good night, everybody. Thank you for listening. You guys are wonderful. Thank you. Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup, huh? Merci, my man. Drag her out. Drag her out. Drag her out. Get the, yeah, go, go, go. Au revoir. Yeah, Fulcan, oui, oui, hein? Je déteste français. No one likes the French. Huh? Photos. Photo. Outside, outside. I'll be out there like, photo, photo. Ta-da. Fiat, bitch. What? Huh? White people see this car, they love it. They're like, oh my God, that brings back memories. That's such a wonderful car, we should get one. How much did it cost? Black dudes and Spanish dudes are like, yo, dude, what you doing in that little ass clown car, dog? That shit is, a... man, you too big for that shit, dude. If I were to have a fight with a, a kidnapper midget, bam, he'd be right in there with his partners. And we're about to travel in that. We're going downtown, we're going to the village, comedy cellar. We're traveling in the Fiat in style. Oh, you know what? Damn, I need some tea, man. I need some tea. I'm sorry, man. I need some tea, yo. Starbucks, latte, hot mate, hot Hold on. Holy shit! Woo! Yeah, I'm running late, but shit, I've been like fucking on time the past couple days, and I'm running a little. And dude, dude, I didn't know you were around. Come on, I'm around. What are you talking about? Yeah. Yes, I am. I'm, 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 I'm heading. I'm almost there. Okay, bye, bye, bye. Last year, I did this special, Black by Accident Hour special, Comedy Central. And, you know, it, it, it came out pretty good. The difference between doing a special and doing comedy every day, of, of course, it's, you know, it's planned. Even the audience is in on the special. Like, when they're, they know when they come in that they're going to be on TV. It's almost like everybody's acting. Like, I'm actually... In a comedy special, you're like acting like a comedian. That's what you're doing. You're like acting like, hi guys, your energy, you're acting, you're, you know, because you know everybody's cognizant. So the audience member could be editing stuff in their head. 
They could be like, oh, if I laugh real crazy, they'll keep coming back to me. So they'll be, oh, that was funny. You see some people going, oh, yeah, that was funny, you know. But, but when you're doing it every night, it's not like that. Sometimes you might get in a fight. Wait me upstairs. Wait for me upstairs. Fuck you think I am, dude. Wait upstairs and talk to me, dude. Now, I wanted Shit, to show please. that the realities of comedy by showing, um, you know, you, me getting into arguments and stuff. And sometimes you get an audience that it might not be full because when you see comedy specials, it's in a theater. Everything's full because they, you know, they, they plan it well. When you're doing it every day, sometimes you might be doing it to 200 people. You might be doing it to 50 people, to two people. So it's a big difference. It's raw, but people need to see that. Comedy is an ugly sport. That's cor like that? corrupted doing his thing thing. You know what I mean? Then I'm going to go up after that shit. Right, but they got me waiting <laughs> with my fucking star. I'm exaggerating. Sorry. <laughs> Making his way to the stage. You recognize him from his appearances in such movies as Soul Plane. How about, how about, how about Louis? That's yeah, right. Louis. Wrong He's credits and shit. Central, and I say, I got my name! Yeah! I wanted to scream with you guys. That was fun.